Now, do you see it? Yep. Okay, let me uh, maximize that. Okay, so here we go. Uh, a log processing center and other devices. Um, here, I'm uh, picking up a 15 inch uh, box elder uh, uh, blank uh, last year. So everybody take a good look because that's the last time I am ever going to try muscling up a uh, a blank into the uh, back of the SUV. I, I was uh, going to say about that picture that uh, why are you picking it up that way? You're guaranteed to hurt your back. So anyway, so I'm after several years of contemplating. Um, I'm glad Mike Peace is uh, on today. Okay, so uh, here's uh, my version of uh, of the log lifter. Okay, and uh, don't laugh, Mike. All right, but it works. It works very well. I've, I've had uh, some nice pieces on here and that's what I wanted to show here today. Um, th this is just my log processing center and a couple different stands that I'm using uh, to uh, further process uh, the log halves. And I I'll get into that in just a minute. But I uh, wanted to show you a, a quick little uh, video here of what I came into on uh, Monday morning. So uh, I don't know if Dave Landers is uh, on uh, today, but he'd be, uh, he'd be happy that uh, I'm in full uniform, steel toes, chaps, heavy jacket, face protection, ear protection. But uh, I would uh, recommend that uh, when you're using a chainsaw, whether it's an electric or battery or gas powered that you uh, uh, use proper uh, safety protection. But uh, chap, so I, I, I've important. run into a nice uh, oak log, red oak. Very cool. So there we go. Now, Very on cool. the... Uh, on the uh, Do that again. Now, let's see that log lifter again. Can I just mention the failure point that I found is that hinge. You've almost got to put a bolt through it. Well, I put uh, you, your video shows uh, number five hinges. I put a number six on here and because I, I wanted to do bigger work. Uh, so That's a good idea. It, 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 yeah, it is a little bit better. So uh, but I, I'm going to uh, uh, probably reinforce that over over time. That is very cool. Um, now, Woodweb uh, website says an 18 inch uh, red oak log, 24 inches uh, is uh, 232 pounds. And I'd say that was uh, pretty accurate um, because after I take out, oh, an inch and a half, two inches of the pith, and I had to cut this one down because uh, uh, their notch was on one end of uh, this particular piece. Uh, I would say that log weighed a little over 200 pounds. This, uh, uh, the blank on the left is 70 and the one on the right is uh, 65. So hold, hold it a sec, Dave. You got the log in your car. How do you get it to here? Oh, I uh, uh, just roll it out onto the uh, ground. Okay. It's a you know, short distance. So I just roll it out, let it drop on the ground. Then I uh, roll it over to my outside uh, uh, log processing center, if you will. Okay. But how do you um, lift it up there? Uh, I, just, I roll it over and uh, just lift one end of it up. It gets it up onto uh, uh, these uh, six by eight uh, uh, pith boards that I have. And uh, so it works out, it's not, even this one as heavy as it was, wasn't all that bad to maneuver around. Could you okay. use the log lifter to get it up there? No, no, that one's a little bit too high. And I, I, I'm probably gonna build another one for outside use, okay? Um, so it doesn't have to be so high. I, I've got two SUVs, well, I got a Mountaineer and then that one was the Envoy. And the uh, tailgates are just uh, different. So I kind of split the difference. So to work on both of those, 
And uh, it, that's a permanent structure, if you will, okay? But this is my, uh, uh, no, this is nothing uh, unique. Uh, the plans for this are all over the internet as far as the log processing center. And then I got a convertible top so that I can, uh, uh, you know, do some painting uh, of, the, uh, of the blank. But then the stands that I made, um, I can do bark up or bark down, okay? I got a cradle system or uh, here's, I'm splitting one of them in half, one to, that's the convertible. But this is what I did on, on the one. This is my favorite one. So th these are all scrap pieces that, that I had in the shop. I got no money in it. And don't laugh. Barry uh, Price will probably come on here in two weeks with some uh, uh, pneumatic <laughs> lifter and <laughs> servo motors on it to rotate it and everything. Okay. <laughs> but uh, so I, I got, uh, I think these are two and a half inch screws sticking up and uh, the, uh, uh, the scrap pieces that I got take up about two and a quarter inches. So I'm sticking up about a, a quarter of an inch or so. And I just jam the blank down onto it. And uh, there's a picture of the cradle. And um, so that, that's how I uh, can cut the corners off of the blank and then just throw it up onto the machine, okay, onto the lathe. And this is uh, the cradle here. But uh, the whole thing is uh, I'm just sick and tired of working off of the ground or working low. This puts everything at waist high. Um, I don't have to try to, you know, these are kind of heavy blanks. I don't have to worry about a bandsaw. I, I very rarely, rarely ever use the bandsaw for anything uh, like this anymore. Why, uh, why not? It's just one more machine to clean off. OK, if you work it with wet wood, I got one more item to to uh, clean off. And this is good enough. I can, I can spin these blanks at uh, uh, 500 RPM and get a nice, easy cut off of it. You know, the, the tool isn't uh, the gouges and bouncing up and down. I get a nice, easy cut and I'm, you know, slam, bam. Here we go. Are you mounting those between centers or are you using a screw? I use a screw a lot of the times I will put on this red oak that I'm gonna to get to here, uh, uh, maybe this afternoon or tomorrow morning, I I'm gonna put those on a face plate. Th those are 70 pounds. So uh, I I'm ju just not sure about uh, anything but a face plate. Any questions for Dave? Just one comment, check out the face plate rings. Cause once you put that on, it's so much easier to lift it and hook it over the yeah. jaws of your chuck without having to spin it. I, I have the Axminster, but I got the smaller one, the Clubman, and uh, I just, uh, this this particular piece is a little bit too big for that particular chuck, but uh, yeah, that, that is uh, uh, what I'd like to do. What kind of right, screws do you use with your faceplate? What kind of screws do you use with your faceplate? Sheet metal screws. Stainless sheet metal screws. Barry, Barry, you're talk. You're on. Oh yeah, I, a recommendation I do have, Dave. Of course, uh, okay. is modify the log lifter so it's uh, adjustable just by putting some little uh, saw teeth in the lower in the two by four set that uh, that it rides on and little metal projections on your, on your piece, on your uh, whatever you want to call that the log is resting on, the cross piece. The platform. And by just uh, ratcheting it down the up or down the, bird, the uh, notches, you can get it to the height you want for different vehicles and for different end purposes in your shop. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not quite following what you mean, Barry, but maybe a sketch or uh, maybe you'll do one of those one day soon. Yeah, yes, I, I hope Dave understands. We're talking about it from the long rails that have been hinged on the lower part, uh, which is where the cradle, if you will, mounts. Uh, if that part had saw teeth edge, uh, edges cut in it, Oh, I see. Yeah, got it. Curves, you know, that uh, 
Oh. So that a, a metal stop or even a wooden stop would naturally settle into it. You could like in two inch radians or whatever, make it adjustable. Yeah. Anybody else on this? Yeah, or, or just tap, uh, put in one or two more um, wooden stops so you've got a couple of more slot choices. That'd be pretty simple. Thanks. Yeah, that's very, uh, very impressive. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm, and make you, you're moving me to do something similar because I can't lift logs anymore. And I got some logs I want to move process and uh, they're lying out of my yard and uh, it's more than I want to do. So, yeah, I, I got a video on that showing my at the time, my six year old uh, shop fairy uh, granddaughter lifting, lifting a pretty good size uh, Bradford pear piece into my car. <laughs> Bradford pear is exactly what I'm looking to work with next. I got a, a, a new, another pear tree bit the dust this year. So great. <laughs> wood shop. Thank God for wood. 